Welcome back to my channel everyone. How are you doing today? Leave a comment in the description how you're feeling. I know it's a hard time for everyone but hopefully, you know, this will ch cheer you up and entertain you I suppose. But this is a story time video about how we got stuck in the car. Not yesterday but the day before. We got stuck in a field because my partner wanted to test out his light beam. So I was like, okay, let's go do that. So we went up and drive the, drove into, he drove into a field just to turn around again and go back out. But obviously a tractor has obviously been in there before and left big massive tire tracks that we got stuck in. So that was fun. It was muddy, muddy puddles. Oh, just, it was a nightmare situation. And to top it all off, it was pitch black. And all we had was his car lights and the torch on his phone. So, once we got stuck, we panicked a bit. He tried to reverse, couldn't get out. Tried to go forward, couldn't get out. So we panicked, we jumped out the car. But as soon as I jumped out the car, ah, there was a big ass muddy puddle. So what happened, I fell in it. Got mud all up the side of myself. My shoes were no longer white. They were brown and wet and squishy and disgusting. So yeah, that was fun for me. So panicked, um, found what the issue was. The the mud had, these tires were stuck, the front tires were stuck in the mud, like big ass muddy puddles. The mud was like way up high. So sort of like wedged his car in a bit. So we had to take it out. So we only had one little small spade in the back of his car, a little shovel and that wasn't really doing anything. So we decided to run home to get his second car, which is a Volvo. So we would try and like pull it out, obviously, but we also have spades and like a fork spade as well. So we got them, so we ran home and I shit you not. It was pitch ass black with just his phone light. We're running for our lives, it seemed like at the time. That you look behind you and hello, I like the haircut, but you know, no hairdressers are open during lockdown. But anyway, you look behind you and it's like, oh no, it is pitch black. It's like there's something creepy following you. And no, I was burning from the inside out. My lungs were on fire, on fire, and my throat was burning up. He was fine. He was just like, come on, take my hand. We we'll have to go. So we ran as fast as we could we got to like the bridge part where you just go into like uh, I would say the street but like the main road before you hit my street so I was like no just go just go leave me here leave me Ugh. so I was staying there he ran so it seemed I was waiting there for like 15 minutes or something well he got the space in the car and came back and got me so I'm still in my squidgy muddy shoes Joggers wrecked muddy. Stop moving my camera. Yeah, so three hours. That was didn't even feel like three hours, but we were wet. We were cold. His car was in budget. So at the end of the night, I was like, right, we have to go now. We have to leave the car. So we decided to leave the note. Uh, put the note in the car, and he was like, no, let's try and like pull it out. I was like, okay, we'll try it then. Three times we tried three different tow ropes and three times he tried, three times he broke. He just snapped in half. So that was the last drop for me. We're not getting out today. We have to go now. So we went. Uh Fritzy was the upset. Obviously I was. We just left the car up there. Just had to run home, go back up there, then drive home in this other car. It was a mess. So we went up the next day. There was no other player chat, so obviously the farmer had went and see his farm. We were like, thank God for that, because he would have normally, he would have done. So, yeah, we managed, we went back up there the next day. Um, we brought like planks of wood with us this time. So we tried to kick it underneath the front bit of the tire, see if we can get out that way, it wasn't working. So we took the wood and put it under the front tires, but the back of it, the back of the tires. So I kicked it as far as I could. Um, we tied two of the tow ropes back together because obviously they snapped the last time we tried to use them. So yeah, tied it to the Volvo, tied it to the Jeep. I drove the Volvo. 
in his heart as that kid. And the thing came out. Holly, motherfucking Leah, it came out. So we were all happy. Just drove the Jeep home, and my mum and my brother obviously lived with me during lockdown. So we ended up all walking up. And because it is a country road, there's like we didn't bump into anybody, didn't even see anyone. Two cars drove past us, but you know they're in cars, so. Right. Yeah, so we went back up there to get the ball going and drive back, and that was it. Yeah, so I think the lesson here was not to drive into fields or try and show off with your fancy like bar. Okay, okay. So yeah, everything is fine now. The car is back. It needs a wash. I'm pretty sure he likes like the muddy other conies four x four, whatever it's called. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe. And um, please leave a comment. Tell me how I did on my story time. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Bye.